<laughs> okay. So welcome. <laughs> so this is uh, the second uh, crochet workshop and uh, learn to crochet with I bring it every day. So thank you all for coming. We have a few people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably not read every comment, but I'm going to put it on the screen. And if it's if it applies to the conversation, I'll probably, you know, we'll probably talk about it. But I'm going to say hi to everybody and just sort of put everybody on the screen as they pop in the best that I can. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I want to say welcome to all the panelists here. And uh, wow, we've got a lot of people. So I'm going to just, uh, ooh, how do I do this? <laughs> okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Tampa because she's working. <laughs> so let me make you big real quick. Okay, so there's Tampa's Creek Garden and more. Welcome in. <laughs> so would you like hello, to just- Hello, hello, hello. Okay, yeah, just let everybody know about you real quick and then what's your interest in crochet? We'll just start there. Just a quick. Well, I'm Tampa Creek um, Garden and More. It's a channel for mm -hmm. me and my granddaughter to start. I'm centering gardening yes. and I do a lot of DIY <coughs> projects and mm -hmm. work with a lot of yarn. So I'm very interested in crocheting. I've never done it before, but I'm willing to okay. learn. I'm All right. not working, nice. I'm headed to Mississippi. Yes. Oh, well, have a safe trip. <laughs> and thanks for coming in. Okay. okay. So let me put you, let me, let's go next. Okay. Exit solo. I'm so, I'm, I'm talking my way through this. <laughs> okay. There's a gun line bees. Let me make you big. I won. Okay. Hold on. Oops. Hit the wrong one. There we go. This is going to just take a second here. Okay. There we go. So Miss yeah. Gunline Beans. Hello, yeah. Miss Hannah. How are y'all this morning? Good. Yeah, so so we got a little bit of your story. I'm just gonna try to not that I'm trying to cut you off, but I know that you um you're obviously B B channel, yeah. and uh, and you shared with us that great story about your uh, grandmother crocheting. That was pretty awesome. But anyway, but tell us just a little bit about your channel, real quick. Uh, uh, we just, I mean, it, it's just me and my husband, and mm -hmm. here we have our honeybees. That's our our main hobby, I guess. But mm -hmm. I've been crocheting since I was a kid my mom and grandma taught me and it was something we all did together so I nice. still really enjoy it as a hobby awesome okay I'm gonna keep moving thank you so much awesome. and then we got um let's see Miss Lisa good morning make you solo real quick there you go so just tell us <laughs> a little bit about you so for the people that don't know well let's see I'm a Grammy I'm a midwife I'm a mother a grandmother I um I have bees, I have chickens and rabbits. I homestead a little bit in a okay. suburban neighborhood. Nice. And um, I've crocheted since, actually, I learned chain stitching when I was a little girl watching my grandma and my mm -hmm. mother Good. and picked it up as a oh, hobby several years ago and yes. then kind of stopped. So I'm picking it up again. Ooh. Thanks to you. All right. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Let me just uh, move on. Let's see what else we got here. We have, come on, Slowpoke. There we go. Yeah, my computer started this morning. We got Tampa. We got Miss Sarah. Hey. Good morning, just, everybody. Yes. I'm Sarah. I'm also a grandmother. <laughs> they call me Grandma. Aww. And I've gotten back into crocheting because of you, also. Thank you. I got a Pokemon kit to do. Oh, okay. We will, we will get to that. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and thanks for supporting the channel. You've been popping in. I love it. And then last but not least, Miss T with the T. <laughs> Give us a couple moments about yourself and uh, for people that may or may not know. All right. I'm Miss T with the T. Daytime YouTube television. Um, I like to try to help people learn more about YouTube and how to grow their channels. And I'm revisiting crocheting here we go <laughs> visiting crocheting and i haven't done it really since i was like a teenager so here i am all right now wonderful thank you so much You're very welcome all right and then i'll just tell you a little bit about well everybody knows sort not everybody but you know people sort of know i float around youtube um my name is kelly i'm i bring it every day and um i started crocheting actually late pretty late well that's not true so I was probably about six or seven and I learned how to chain and that's as far as it got. And my mom was not a big crocheter, but she knew a little bit about it, but she didn't make items. She just sort of used it as the meditative thing. 
And then, but I really knit it first and um, got hooked on it, sort of put it away. Like, that's what like, a lot of people do. You go to, you know, you go to college, you, you go to school, it's over. And then <laughs> you don't have time to really craft. I did a little crafting in college, but not much. And then I sort of put it away until probably 10 years ago when uh, I started really watching YouTube. And so that's my little story there. So I'll just talk a little bit about what we covered so far. So we covered um, the, we did the, we did the slip knot. We did the chain stitch. We did the uh, single crochet. We did the half double crochet and the double crochet. That's kind of what we covered. Now, how was everybody feeling? And, you know, and, you know just about the crochet. Like, it, it seems like I saw Lisa and uh, Sarah seem like they jumped right back in. So that's good. No, <laughs> right off my brain, though. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. It is some bra there is some brain power involved in this. So if anybody who's new, th this is what I just want you to realize. Because getting your tension, really the biggest thing is the tension. And Miss T, like I've seen her evolve, you know, with her tension and things like that. And, and it's really, that, that's the thing that I don't think people talk about with crochet. It's all about tensioning the yarn and how to get that stitch just the right size and things like that. Yeah. Okay. So any, any, any other comments? How, how are you guys feeling? What have you done this week? So you can share with the, the people out there in uh, YouTube land and Instagram land. I bought a pattern last night and started reading through it. And it was yes. like, oh my gosh, where did the terminology go? I must have, I must yes. have dumped it in a load or something from my oh. brain. So going yes. back to the terminology is, is getting challenging. <laughs> well, yeah. And that's not too hard. I mean, like I said, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that if you want. Um, but I had an idea for a project and uh, let, I'll make myself big real quick here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the one thing that we can do, and maybe not this particular stitch, but the first project that you want to do, and we'll talk about this today, is making a square or a rectangle. And this is a cotton, um, you know, either a washcloth or a dishcloth or things like that. And this is a good stitch. Or not, this is not a good stitch to start, but this is just a general thing project that you can start with that's really helpful. And we can do that today. Or you can do that during the week and we can reconvene and talk about that. But basically, you just chain up a certain number of stitches. Usually, it's 25, 30 if you're using a worsted weight like this. And then you just do your, you pick your stitch. You know, you put your chains in and you do your single crochet or your double crochet or whatever you want to do. And you just make it till it's square or square-ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when you're done, you know, you, you weave in your ends, which I did not do. <laughs> And then you keep it moving. And these are these are nice just to practice. And so you see your stitches, how they're, you know, how they're lining up. You see your tension, mm -hmm. things like that. So that's a project that I would recommend. If you guys want to try that today, we can do that or we can just continue going over the stitches. You know, so let me know how you're feeling. All right. But I can sort of start us, you know, through through that pro bleh, through that project if you like. I have a question. Sure. When you're doing that particular project, you mm -hmm. remember the circle that I mentioned you about starting that circle? Yes. Is that a part of that project or it is not, totally it, different? It is not. So the okay. other thing is um, we can talk about doing the magic circle. I can show it to you. Um, there are a lot mm -hmm. of tutorials on it. And I want to say it was, for me, a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just took a, it just took me a minute to figure it out because I just my break like I said so the whole thing is after once you learn those few stitches in crochet you want to learn to crochet in the round and the crochet in the round is the is the magic circle or you can chain four and do a slip stitch so I'll show you what that looks like and I'm going to change this layout a little bit here let me see if this is but then, actually we can see everybody so this is good now maybe I'll leave it alone <laughs> I'll leave it alone but um. Yeah, I can show you the, the magic magic circle, and then we can go from there. So let me plug in real quick here. And uh, any other questions? Oh, actually, well, Miss Tampa, let me ask you. So you said you haven't crocheted. So let me just tell you this. Um, the magic circle is a little bit difficult for, like, a new crocheter, in my opinion. That's not what I started. Learned. The lady that was showing me, that's yes. what she was trying to teach me, and I could never get it. 
Yeah, and you're not the only one. There are people that have been crocheting for 30, 40 years and can't do it. And I figured it out one day. It just kind of, I looked at it. So anyway, YouTube has a million video, not a million, but they have a load of videos. Um, so my husband anyway, so why, why I ended up on YouTube was my husband said, if you can't figure this out, just check YouTube. It'll, it'll show you how to do this stuff. And the, the, the magic circle was difficult for me. For some reason, I think I looked at probably 30 videos. And I finally was like, this is crazy. I <laughs> like, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much of a good thing. But I did figure it out. So I can show you how I do it. And then, you know, we can go from there. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, so any other questions or any other thoughts? Or how are you feeling, like, about your tension like uh, Lisa, Lisa looked pretty good last week, as I recall. You were looking pretty good. I have the same issue with the magic circle. I have to watch a tutorial every time I do one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <I'm> no. <not. laughs> it is the yes. magic circle. Also, well, well, I'll show you that. So, so, the, so, the, so the, the next logical step, now, once you've got a few stitches down, is you need to learn how to crochet in the round. And let me just show you why. So you want to crochet in the round because you want to make these hats. And a friend of mine made this hat. It's, she, she tends to make them too big. Remember I was telling you, you have to check your, your tension and the yarn you're using in the, in the hook. And I'll show you why. Let me just show you this hat. She just gave this to me last week. Uh, <laughs> so she buys this yarn. This, this is this yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's um, alpaca, Miss T. And I don't know if you can see the fuzzes. Yeah, me, uh, yeah. Uh, me uh, who goes, Sarah and... Uh, Tampa. We went to Goodwill. I think we saw some. And okay. See it. Did you run? <laughs> run the other way? <laughs> well, anyway, but my friend made this hat and it's massive. Like three people can wear this hat. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's huge. You see how big this thing is? So the bottom line is, this is what I'm talking about, the tension. Like you want to make sure everything's good. Now her tension, she's a very tight crocheter. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very tight. Very few holes. Mm -hmm. It's a single crochet in there. Very, very, very tight. But but anyway, what's the point? Oh, yeah. So the magic circle is to get this round shape. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the whole idea is it's the round shape. So some people chain four. Some people, um, and, and then they just do it that way. So if you can't figure it out, you could chain four and then start crocheting into the circle. And I'll show you that, too. So let me just grab some yarn. I, oh, well, of course I grabbed the wrong color, but we'll try this pink. <laughs> I said, I always grab the wrong color scrap yarn. I hate when I, I do that when I cook too. I always buy, like if I make something white, then I grab a white plate and I'm like, you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the crazy thing that I do. I don't know why I do that, but there it is. Okay. So let me turn this on real quick. But anyway, so the magic circle is interesting. Um, but don't don't despair. It's not hard either. <laughs> okay. Oh. So now now what did you guys do during the week? And while I'm setting this up, um, let me know. Like I what just you... um, the thing I was trying to do the magic circle, mm -hmm. and I ended up tripping over myself, putting it down, and cleaning bee equipment. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> So you're working the bees, huh? Well, it's too cold to really get in there yet, mm -hmm. and I'm like chomping at the bit, but it's almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> almost there, Sarah. And hang I'm, in there, girl. I'm trying to find. I had the. Hang on. Okay, hang on just a sec. Of course, I'm having camera situations. As I covered <laughs> the. Let me see. Hang on. Okay. Let me see if I can. Only do this. human, after all. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yep. Okay. These are the the hooks that I got from my friend Hannah. Oh, oh. let me see. Oh, oh are... is that Hannah? Oh, oh nice. That's Hannah. Hold on, <laughs> I want to solo you real quick. Oh, you're gonna Yeah. Let me see. Get it? Now, there we go. Nice. These, these things here are they the markers. Work? Those are stitch Thank markers. Those markers. Okay, yeah, so you mark your stitches there. Yeah, that's great. Yes, and I'm excited to use them. <laughs> those are great. And where did you get those, if you don't mind me asking? Well, if you don't, you know, if you don't mind sharing. I know that I don't want to, you know. Amazon. You from Amazon. Okay. I found Amazon. them. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was yeah, just because I was looking for some with cushions, because 
my arthritis and my hands is so bad. And I saw that whole set and I tried them out when they came in and it made a, a big difference for me in being able to hold the hook. And I was like, man, that's there awesome. enough for to these. And that's, they do, it is comfortable. That's great. Because mm -hmm. the cold weather has my joints just a talking. Yes. yes. So I'm like, <laughs> like <laughs> all righty. That's awesome. I see Amazon is a, is a good. And I have to say, buying yarn there, it's so expensive. I, I yeah. think you do better in other places. And not to be an enabler, but Yarnspirations, which makes Red Heart, had a sale yesterday for 30% off the entire site. And, oh. Uh, yeah, and I discovered it late in the day, late. Like it was so late, and I was just, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was terrible. But anyway, I'll show you this magic circle, and I'll or I'll show I'll show you both ways. So this is I don't hope can you guys see that? I was gonna say, can yeah, you make yourself big? Yeah, make yourself big. Yeah, you want to make sure that the that I'm in the shot. Okay, okay, let me make myself big. Sure. Thank you for reminding me, because girl, there we go. <laughs> It's been one of those weeks, you know what I mean? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so I have this pink yarn. Let me get in there. Okay. So um, people do this X. So you, what you do is you do an X over your fingers like that. And I'll do it slower. Here we go. Let me find myself there. So you do this X. You cross it over. Oops. There we go. And you go under. And then over, you grab that back piece, and I sort of turn it, and then I hold it. So this is the tail. This is the ball here. And then what I do is I grab the yarn there, and you do a single crochet over the two loops. So this is why it's a little bit crazy. So that's the single crochet, and you pull it through. And then what I do is, and you see this little circle here? It is adjustable. And then you can crochet directly in, whoops, inside of the circle there. Yeah. Right, and then so like, so for example, if I'm gonna double crochet, like usually amigurumi, for you amigurumi people, and I suggest don't do this as your first project, you do, <laughs> you do, six, you do six double crochets into that circle. So I'm gonna do the six, I got three. I'm doing this fast only for time, it's four. That's five, I'm counting, <laughs> and six, okay? So there's six double crochets in that circle. So now what you do is you pull this together. Let's see if I can do this correctly. And you just pull it and it closes up the circle. And then what you do normally is you slip stitch to close the circle, or you just keep going mm -hmm. in, in around, the, around the circle. But that's basically amigurumi 101. Okay. I do have you a question. Just sure. kind, of, kind of not. Uh, so Sarah Happy Hives has those uh, markers. Where would you yes. go on the tail? That Where would that go? So that would go where your first stitch is. And oh. so what you do is, and they always say it when you do amigurumi, that you want to um, mark, your, mark your stitches. And you have to count. Because what happens is you lose that round shape if you don't do the correct number of stitches. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm doing the X. I just I just took that out real quick. There's the X. And I have a big thing on my nail. I have to fix that. <laughs> so you, I sort of turn it to the side there. And then you wrap this around your, you know, this is your tensioning finger here. And you grab this little piece. And then you do a single crochet there. And I'm going to go real slow. But that's the basic thing. And then you, then like I said, then you start crocheting from the middle. So most hats are made from the top down, sort of the crown down. And then you start just crocheting in this little circle here. And you see it's adjustable. I don't know if I can pull it, but yeah, it's adjustable. See that? Okay. Yeah. So this is the so this is the whole point of it is just to get started in the in the circle. Now the other thing that you can do is a lot of times people when they make hats, you can make a rectangle and then sew a seam down the side. Now the problem with that is it's not pretty, unless you're a good seamstress. You know what I mean? But sewing in the round is uh, useful for like um, coasters, hats. I'm trying to think, amigurumi. 
I'm trying to think some other things. But anyway, that's that. So then the, the other the other option is I'm going to take this apart. Is a lot of times people I'm just making a slip knot here. People just cha chain three or four. I forget which one it is, but it doesn't matter. Three and four. I'll chain four. Then they do a slip stitch in that first stitch there. So slip stitches. You you, you insert it into the stitch. You pull you pull the yarn through both. And you see how it makes a little bit of a loop there. So this is an option that you have for a magic loop if you can't do it. Okay. And you see this this little hole there. You start crocheting in there. All right. So then you know then you just go in and you do your six single or double crochets depending on the type of pattern you have. But some patterns do double crochet, some patterns do single crochet. Single crochet is much smaller, you know what I mean? And so when you see those amigurumi, the stitches are really tight. But this is just another way that you can do, if you can't do the magic circle, you can just chain four, slip stitch to it, and then just start crocheting around this little thingy there. And then you can pull this. I don't, I, I'm not as successful in pulling this as tight as I can with the magic. And that's why the magic circle is useful. You can just do that. So does that make sense for everybody? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm sorry. I'm still trying to work on that X. Yeah, the X is yeah. <laughs> Me okay, too. So, okay, I'll, let's go back. Let's go back I, to the I end. was hoping that I would find it at the bottom of that first cup. My coffee here. So <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly, so can you move X. your camera down just a hair so we can get your fingers? There yeah. you go. There you go. Okay. I think that was the problem that I was Where's having. The... I couldn't see. Okay. Let me do it again. So the X, the tail part. Yeah. So the so this is the ball, and this is the tail. Oh, sorry, this is the tail mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. This is hard to see. It's so small. I don't have a big tail. There's the tail, and this is the ball. Yeah, but you want to crisscross criss -cross them, basically. Mm -hmm. And I'm sort of holding it with my little thumb there. Yeah. There, okay. Here's the tail. I don't know if you can see that there. There we go. So I'm holding it there. So what you do is you go under, under the first one. Under the first one. And you grab the second one with the hook. Okay. Yeah. You grab it and you pull it under. And see, and I turn it just because I feel like I'm going to lose it. But you don't have to. Some people do it without turning. <laughs> and then you do a single crochet. So you go inside that circle, pull that loop. And you got two on the hook, and then you complete the stitch. And so I'm pulling the tail out of here like this. I don't know if you can see that, but I just pulling it out of the center, and that's the loop right there. I'm gonna put it down so I, oh, I feel like and I didn't do it again. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little bit of a practice. And and actually, if you want to, I can take a look and see what you're doing. But there it is. That's the magic loop. Now, I saw somebody do, like I said, I've, I've seen a couple of different ways, but that's the way that I learned. And you don't have to turn it. You know what I mean? I'm going to do the X one more time. Uh, so the X. Made, said they double loop the magic circle. It helps. Double, the oh, when she's oh, method. I have to see what she means. Okay. But see, there's the, there's, so I'm going underneath and then grabbing it. Pulling that through. Oops, hold on, I just let it go. Underneath, pulling it through. And I just sort of turned it to the side there, just so I can see. <laughs> and then, you know, you just go underneath. Uh oh, hold on, I just dropped my thing. <laughs> Let's do it again. So, X. So, there's the X. So, I go under. And pull it through pull it under and pull it through and i just sort of hold it to the side and i grab this little thing so right now this is my right hand this is my left hand and i sort of grab this little thing and i go under so she does a double crochet is that maybe that's what she's saying i have to go look but the way i learned was single and uh, i guess it really i guess it kind of depends on what you're going to do you know you could probably put a, a double crochet in there maybe that's what she means i don't know she just pulled that out and you got the loop there and this, my tail got real long, but you see, 
this is this is the so you the the idea of this is you have to lock down this stitch. You know, if you don't lock down both sides of this loop, then it's just gonna fall aside, fall apart. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. And then you just start crocheting, you know, around this thing here. And like I said, you can pull the tail. The pull when you pull the tail, it will close the loop. And so it's what's nice is I think it's nice if you pull this real tight at the, you know once you do once you complete your stitches, and then you don't see like a big hole. And um, oh yeah, so so my hat that my friend has, there's a big hole. <laughs> I just noticed there's a little bit of a hole. See that? And that's what you want to avoid. <laughs> a little bit of a hole. But you can put a pom pom on there, but you know what I mean. But that's the whole idea. You just want to close that hole up. But anyway, I'm going to go to the chat and I'm going to take myself out. But I, did, that, did that help a little bit? <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. See what Frank Annelly's trying to say. Yes. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Let me see. Hold on just a second. I'm going to change my camera. I'm going okay. to flip back, but it's the only thing about having this camera. I can't be there, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there, you, there it is. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to take a look at the chat, and then let me take myself down. And boom. So anyway, that's that. I think I got All right. It. We have a lot of comments. I think... <laughs> I think I oh. may have gotten it. Yes, and I told you, it it takes a minute. You know what I mean? It, it takes a minute. I think you have it. That's it. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, now, now I have are to. You able, are you able to pull that tail? Oh, when you close up the hole, it's nice and tight, so you don't have to worry about the final hole coming yep, open. Oh, I, I see pull the tail. what you're saying. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> oh, see, you wrap it around your fingers twice. Pull the yarn through the bottom. I'm going to put this through the bottom to my hoop, my loop. I learned it from Sunita. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, and that's what I do too. Yeah, so I do the X and then, you know, which is basically wrapping it around twice, yeah. So may, maybe I didn't articulate it the same way, <laughs> but that's basically what she's saying, I believe. Okay. Yep. I believe so. so. I'm interpreting this. So anyway, I'm gonna go back to the top a little bit and um, I'm gonna say, greet everybody and say, once again, thank you so much for coming in. Everybody, and there's Sarah. Let me let me take you down. I didn't um, realize I was on center stage. <laughs> oh yeah, you were beautiful. That was good. See, and this is in moments like this are very exciting. That's why I wanted everyone to see. Um, mm -hmm. There it is. But yes, I mean, we have a lot of people here. This all week now in my yes. in the ring because it's supposed to rain a little bit. And mm -hmm. you, so we lost. Oh, where did Lisa go? She just <laughs> fell. <laughs> She'll be back. Yeah, this is one of those things. The the weather's really bad today here. I don't know about you guys, but it's really bad. Let me move this back a little bit. There we go. Yeah. So anyway, so but, but I see we have Nisi. Nisi is freehandedly made. Au. And we got Mary King. I see Katrina's crochet hook and loops. There's a lot of people. So anyway, if I miss you, it's not from lack of love or anything. But I had to sort of get through. I wanted to sort of talk through um, some of the things that we want to do today. But definitely crocheting in the round is, is a nice thing to kind of get to once you get through the stitches. And there's, oh, oh, Danae's here, I see. Yes. Uh, Gunline Bees is saying, hey. <laughs> okay, we got uh, Fresh and Fire Backyard Living. Thank you. Hey, Fresh and Fire. Four Corners Custom Products. Good. Grand Rising King and Queens. Thank you. I'm um, just going back. Full house up in here. That's right. <laughs> uh let's see keep going oh we have um sammy joe it looks like is here thank you sammy. almost home studying with janet is here thank you let's see miss t with the t is smiling <laughs> see in the chat um sammy joe there we go she's saying hey but anyway thank you all for coming in on all the channels i hope this will help you guys get some watch hours and things like that I'm really good on watch hours, so you know it's always good when I can share. <laughs> okay, but I appreciate anybody you know who comes by and hangs out and things like that. I've been looking yes. forward to this all week, hanging with my girls and crocheting to get this stuck to my brain. <laughs> Let's see, we have Clinderin. Oh wow, Sammy Joe. I'm just gonna go through some of these names, just saying hey. Uh, wow, we have a lot of people. 
Yeah, Mary King, I said, hey. So this is awesome. And uh, wow, I think that's it. I think I got everybody. And if I missed you, just uh, type again. <laughs> right. Oh, we got Nancy hooked on crochet. She just popped in. And she's a crocheter and she said, good morning. It's raining here in Florida. Good morning. And, and her son and family are flying in from New York. So she's from New York City, living in Florida. Yeah. And uh, let's see, I'll show you, I'll show Nancy what she's uh, doing. I'm working on some little chickens that go over a plastic Easter egg. Oh, that's so going to be adorable. <laughs> yes. And uh, everyone's saying hello. Great. Oh, we got a super chat. What? Just four quarters, four quarters yeah. custom product. Wow. Let me go back over this side. Hold on. Let me see what's happening. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, my other window closed, of course. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, nice. All right, Four Corners custom products. Nice. Let me just see what just happened. All right, let me go back in. Yeah, I had a, I had you all ready, and it just closed on me. But uh, let me see here. Oh, that's awesome. Yep, and we got Sandy Creek just joined uh, Instagram. All right. Hold on just a moment. I think so is there anything else, you guys, or any other questions that you have? Whenever someone asks me if I have a question, all my questions go. They go. Yes. <laughs> we say yes. hi to Google. Yep. Yep. Oh. I got her. I'm, I'm trying to put her on the screen. <laughs> it's not, oh. I'm a little. I'm a little slow. But thank you. Good morning. Who's late? Good to see you. <laughs> In yes. My chat too. I shared this out. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. I am so excited because I think I got it. I, I got know. Six. Hold on. Can I make you? Can I make you big? Let's see yep. what you got there. Hold on. While while my things loading here. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Come on, slowpoke. My computer's like it's it's it's. I'm I'm working it this morning. <laughs> Need a better there background. Oh, that looks good. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. So how do I join them together through this first? Mm -hmm. Now you might you might want to grab those stitch markers <laughs> that you just got, and you can mark where the first stitch is. Yeah, that's nice. And um, all right, let me see. Is this working? Come on now. All right, here we go. Now I need yes, another yes. container to put my. <laughs> yes, I know. Isn't, isn't it funny? Like all this, all this stuff we do. It's like, yeah. It, it, see, this is what's so crazy about crafting is that you have all these tools <laughs> so, so many tools okay. okay hang on just a moment yeah and I, I got you let me just get in this room here I'm glad yeah, so I, i've always been interested on how to use those markers okay sure let me grab i had one sitting right here let's see okay hang on just a moment uh sorry Looks sorry like about a, my slow my slow computer like a little diaper <laughs> pen that's what it looks like. Okay, so oh, we also got a super sticker from uh, Nisi. Thank you so much. A little something for the teacher. <laughs> I appreciate that. And uh, let's see, what else did we get here? Oh man, this is nice. All right, let me let me put you and now. I think I can I can get you on the screen. Oh, so we have a couple here. So we have um, Four Corners Custom Products. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. So uh, <laughs> keep smiling. Keep shining, knowing you can always count on me for sure. That's what friends are for. In good times, in bad times, I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. That's for uh, <laughs> Four Corners Custom Products. And then Nisi is, um, I'll give you this one. So, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. <laughs> and if you threw a party, he invited everyone he knew. You would be, and the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, Thank you for being a friend. Okay, that's it. 
So two, no, two super stickers, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> very happy. All right now, so thank you so much. Okay, so there's Melanie's crochet just popped in. Thank you so much. And uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, Pow Pow's here, wow. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. So thank you guys so much. So there's uh, four corners, and we got Nisi, and uh, she's she's gonna be live at twelve pretty soon. All right now. Okay, there we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, and then Nisi. Okay, there we go. I just want to make sure I acknowledge and thank <laughs> profusely <laughs> awesome. that have been helping out the channel. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, my, my, my little control room just went kaputs. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, that's the way it goes. So let's see. We got Connor the Cosmic Kid. Good to see you. We got Pow Pow. And we got six bows I see popped in. Where are you? Somewhere up there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> As she's saying, good morning, <laughs> Kelly, everybody in the panel. What's up? Chat, I really can't. Is Miss T seeing anything? Well, no shade. What? She's saying, what's up, chat? <laughs> Can't see Miss T. Oh, see, okay. No shade, but have a good weekend. Yeah, there's Miss T. Yeah, I was hiding everybody for a minute. <laughs> there we go. Yes, so that's good. So so does that make sense? Oh, you're in the front VIP section. All right, now. Okay, <laughs> and there's a, uh, yes, they all. Uh-oh, hold on. Hello. And uh, pow, pow, good to see you everyone's saying hello so thank you so much for coming now all right so we so we covered the magic circle and and so the basis of the magic circle is you can do all that amigurumi and so what my little rant i'm going to give here is that there are a lot of those amigurumi kits and they're very very cute but i think they always say they're for beginners but they're really not <laughs> and mm -hmm. so i would say don't do that right away <laughs> I found I this know. yesterday. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Now, let me see that. Hold on. Let me see that. That's my my daughter used to say that. Let me see that. Oh, Evie. Nice. That's adorable. That's I like it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Nice. Okay. So the thing that I found with these kits, here's the thing. A lot of times they do the magic circle for you in there. But if you're a new crocheter, you'll have no idea what the heck it is. And so was, it's confusing. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why I dissuade people from buying the kids. But they're adorable. And the thing is, you get all the yarn that you need. It was the, on for, sale. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> girl. Oh, my gosh. I have a friend that says it all the time, and I just go. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I also got a. Yes. Whoops. I'm going to try to make some. Games. Oh. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, Latin and of Latin course Latin Pikachu. Pikachu. I got to make Pikachu adorable. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu is great. Did you know <laughs> that Pikachu's name means sparkly kisses in Japanese? I did. Not <laughs> oh, you. Wow. Sparkly kisses. <laughs> wow. So anyway, so thank you guys so much for coming. This is great. We have 35 people on my side. I don't know how many I've people got you guys have. Right. Just got to figure out where to put my marker. Yes. Oh, the marker. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, now of course I dropped my marker. So uh -oh. I'll pick it up in just a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> but this is what I'll do. I'll show you what you do. Okay, solo. Okay. So I'm using a, a bobby pin. <laughs> Let me put a few stitches in here. Okay, so let's just say I'm just going to do a couple of uh, double crochets here. Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay, hold on. Turn that around here. Did the wrong side. But what you do is the, with the double crochet. So, okay, so you got your, oh boy, let me take this apart here. Having a little technical difficulties. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, let me go back in here. All right, so here's the loop. Look what I did. See, I'm splitting my yarn. So, this is what happens. So anyway, those kits, what I was going to tell you is a lot of times the yarn is very flimsy. And um, I noticed that it splits a lot. So just be careful with those kits. They usually don't give you decent yarn. 
And so usually, so let's just say I've got three uh, double crochets here. All right. Well, let's just play. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I'm gonna, let me do six here. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I'm dropping things here. I got the dropsies. <laughs> oh, Lisa's back. Hang on, Lisa, just a moment. Do you see Janet in there, Kelly? Oh, is it? Almost oh. home setting. She said she's in yes. timeout in your chat. Oh, oh, I didn't I didn't do it. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. I am so sorry. That is terrible. But sometimes, you know, people fat finger, you know, when they're uh, going through. <laughs> well, and I'm trying to keep up with the chat and I don't yes. want to leave anybody out. Hi, everybody in the chat. Yes. My, my fingers are fat this morning, too. <laughs> yes. Let me see here. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Hey. Let me see. Hey, Kelly. There we go. Kelly, did, can did you I hear me? Yes. Did I drop I'm, you out? Did I lose no, you? No, no, no. I'm going to drop down. Um, okay. I got to call my grandmother to let her know I'm an hour and a half away. Yo, sure. And, and um, I'm going to be in the chat, so I'm going to let you all finish, but I will okay. be watching. All, all right. right. Well, thank I you so much for calling and inviting me. Yes, yes. Mackenzie. We're, ce yes. we're celebrating her 92nd birthday today. Tell her happy, oh happy birthday. Yeah. That is so exciting. I will right. talk to y'all later. Love you guys. Love okay. You, Good to see you. All righty. Take care. Bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. I Yeah, here we go. So here it is. All right. So so we, we're back. So we got the six stitches here. And the, so right now, this is the end. This is the sixth stitch right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thing. So this, this pretend this is a, uh, <laughs> this is a stitch marker. I dropped my stitch marker and it flew across the room. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it right there. And then you'll know. And then what you can do when you continue is like you're just going to go into this next stitch right here. Oh, and yeah. And then if you're, 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 hold on, your second row, let me just, sorry, I made these too tight. But so anyway, so this is the end of the first row. And this is the last stitch. This is stitch number six. This is stitch number one that I'm going into right there. And then what you do is you just go into that stitch right there and just start your, you, you keep going. So a lot of times they'll say either, they'll say either do a slip stitch to the first or they'll say just continue. But this way, this, this way you'll know that this is your first, either your last stitch or your first stitch here. Do you understand that? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this way you'll know. And then you just keep going around in this direction. Yeah. Yeah, and you just keep going, and then you're going to come back around again, and then you'll know. So this is the thing. You have to start counting, <laughs> and this is where Amigurumi, you know. Anyway, good to see you, Miss Day Hall. We got Angie Prescott. I see you, and sorry for the timeout, but that's how the, the stitch marker works, and you just keep going, and you just keep going around and around and around and around until you get to this end, and then you'll say, oh, okay, I should have, you know, usually it goes 6, 12, and then it goes from there. The stitch marker just lets you know that you've stopped right there. Yep. So there it is. Does that make yes. sense? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you're welcome. So let's see. We got Lulu's Treasure Trove. Good morning. Oh, you're on Instagram. <laughs> That's cool. Yes. Nice. I have to pop over there. I haven't been over there in a little minute. Let's see. Yep. We got Lulu's Treasure Trove. Hello. And uh, oops, I said hi to Joshua. And I didn't push send. <laughs> don't you hate when you do that mm -hmm. <laughs> forgot to push send even though i'm like it's typed right there so anyway so hi joshua shandy and uh lulu's treasure trove or cindy good to see you all right got it. that's I, it, I got so it. You, so you think you have it okay good oh that's nice hi, jove. i think i've got it hi jove that's good all right so it looks like fresh and fire has got it nice good hand ago mm-hmm Oh, she said her signal's bad. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I think she's getting some of the same weather bad. I am. We are, are all getting both? it. It's yeah. pretty bad. You're both in Alabama? Yes. She's oh. on the other side of the state, though. Oh. <laughs> so about oh, the same okay. latitude. Mm. Right. Me and Ooh. Sarah are in the same state. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> Y'all Hoosiers. All right. That's cool. So let's see. So we have Suzanne. 
We've got Lulu's treasure trove. We said, hey, Angie, Angie Prescott, and uh, stay now, home. I'm sorry, but later. now I feel like it's in the way. It this is. Marker. <laughs> well, you have to move it. Yes. Let's my see. Brain, yeah, my, my, yeah. my brain does protest. I always lose my fancy little plastic markers, so I keep a bobby pin handy mm -hmm. when I do. That's what I, I do. Bobby <laughs> pins for markers. <laughs> But if you're Look working with a dark the color. ducks are in the pond in the front yard. What that? The ducks. Oh. The oh, ducks baby. are back. Oh. Can you see them? Oh, wait. Let me see. They look like Canadian oh, yeah. geese. Oh, is that a Canadian ducks. geese or is that a duck? Oh, I have a little louder. pond right in my front yard. Are they in the, can you get a video? Are they still there? Yeah, they're still there. Well, can get a video of them? How do we get almost cutting out a timeout? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Because I on. click on it and it says put user in timeout. So I don't know how to get her out of timeout. That's what I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. And then we got, oh, let's see. Rosie's crochet came in. And uh, let's see. Wow, we're doing good. All right. But let me see if I can find what's going on there. But I, I'll do that while you guys are chit-chatting. Okay. okay, there we go. Fresh and fire. There's Thanks, Hannah. Kelly. Yep, Hannah's Hello. back. Hey, Hannah. So we're getting the same weather, aren't we, Hannah? <laughs> yes. Girl, it is. Yeah. And I, I mean, I get bad signal in this house with this old metal roof anyway. Mm -hmm. So I was planning on going out on the porch, but the weather's too bad. I'll get drenched. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, the main uh, part of our house is concrete block. And I think that's uh -huh. what affects our signal. Even yeah, though we have extenders all through the house. Mm. Oh wow! See, does that work for you? The um, the 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 extender. Um, it seems to, but like I said, our internet is kind of um, spotty at times. So I don't mm -hmm. spend a whole lot of time out here except when I'm live streaming. Um, yes, but it seems to help. Mm hmm. I think my grandson, my oldest grandson, downloaded something on my computer. Oh. One of his gaming oh. things. And I think it kind of messes things up. So I forced it to quit. But we'll Was see. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my grandson. He, he's a gamer. He'll be 16 okay, in yeah. June. So. And that takes a lot of space of your, uh, yeah. you know, your, your memory and stuff like that. Yeah. And so, I got uh, an old MacBook. <laughs> Oh, you do, yeah, yeah. They're they're great, but yeah, the older ones are not as fancy. Yeah. Let's see. So we got a couple people came in. We have um, Walker B Ranch. Let's oh, see. hey, Bob. Bob, yes. go get you some yarn and a needle or a hey, hook. Bob. <laughs> yeah. Top of the Come morning, on, Bob. Be a Bob. Yeah. The Walker B Ranch. Bob. Yeah, it's funny. Um, it doesn't show that she's blocked. But that's oh, weird. Show that. Yeah, actually, actually, I have a moderator here. Hey, Ashley, if you're if you're listening, can you check and see if almost homesteading with Janet is timed out? I'm not sure what happened, but I think you just have to ru run through the timeout. At 9:55, she got timed out. Okay, that's what Katrina. Can you tell Katrina or or, or, or Ashley? Yeah, I don't. I forget how to undo that. I guess you can't really undo it. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. Is it a certain amount of time? Timed out. Yeah it it said three hundred seconds, so that's like what three minutes. Five Did minutes. Janet try five, to five minutes? Five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah, six times three. Yep, something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, Bob, you need to pick up her her crochet stuff and get busy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> that's it'll, right. It'll help you when you miss her because I know you miss her. Who was Aww. it? The football player, Mean Joe Green, back in the seventies that embroidered. He like opened Did he up do the, that? Yeah, I oh, think wow. it was Mean Joe Green. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know why either. Yeah. So, okay. So, and, Angie Prescott is asking, "What are you going to? Make, what are you learning to make?" So, the the other thing that I wanted to sort of talk about um, was doing the the square. Now, have you guys done a square? Mm -mm. It's been a but long at least we time. learned that we well. So now we learned the circle. So. 
do you think you're comfortable moving through the circle? Did, did you know, Miss T? How are you feeling on that? Not not to not to put you on spot, but you know. <laughs> I saw I, Sarah was looking pretty good. <laughs> I, think, I think Lisa knows how to do that. Yeah. No, I'm still struggling with the circle, but that's I just all. took mine out. Okay. <laughs> I'm just oh, okay. weighing. I was, oh, oh, okay. I was looking at so, Andy Prescott and Savannah, and I was like, I'll be there next week. <laughs> yes. Oh, she's still timed out. What the heck? Yeah, the granny squares you do with the magic circle. You just yeah. have to make your corners. You do increases. Yeah, and we we can we can we can move you know we can move toward that also. <laughs> we won't do that today, but I think that might be a lot. We got Kenneth Wilkinson, hey, and then Walker B Ranch wants to do the granny squares. Yep, yeah, you sort of do a circle also. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the whole thing. So the biggest thing with granny squares and anything like that is you have to keep your tension nice too <laughs> with those. They get wonky. I got and a so, frog it. Do you already I'm so out of practice? I'll my I it is gonna be mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so so oh one of the moderators hit her by mistake. <laughs> okay, that's uh, what happened. Oops. oops. <laughs> yes. Aww. Yeah. It, well, how is okay. she posting if she's timed out? See, that's, that's what that's I thought her. too. She's also yeah, my I can see it. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That's weird. Oh, and then Rosie, Rosie's crochet corner said. Yeah, can you fix it, Connor? <laughs> he said sorry. That was an accident. And uh, Walker B. Rand says the ca the challenge is, ca is counting. I don't know the best way to 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 give you any any. Um, I mean, one thing that people do, and they do it kind of the. There's an app where you can use your phone where you can sort of highlight each line of the pattern, and it tells you mm -hmm. how to. Um, oh, you're posting it, Sarah's channel. Oh, I yeah. see. Oh, okay, okay. That she's makes sense. On, she's yeah. on my chair. That's how I knew to tell you she was in time out. <laughs> okay. She was yeah. on mine, and I thought I had hit it by mistake when I was messing yeah. with my computer. She said it's lonely. <laughs> oh, go to mine, you'll be was, all alone. <laughs> she was supposed to be here with me today in the studio, uh -huh. but we didn't uh -huh. work out like that today. Oh, but good question. Gonna... Mm-hmm. So Angie, uh, Miss T's asking Angie Prescott, do you have a channel? Yeah, I'm gonna be there like for like seven, eight days, and mm -hmm. nobody, well, I have a couple people to hang out with, but yep. But but there's a there there's a good tip, and this is Suzanne. She's saying use lots of stitch markers for keeping counts. That's the way to do it. Lots of them. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, so she should be able to talk now. Okay, yeah, I figured it's like five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. And uh, oh yeah, just need tea with honey. LOL, everyone is happy. <laughs> well, it's you gotta have the honey. Coffee. You gotta have the. I know, I love coffee too. <laughs> you gotta have the honey. Coffee though. first yeah. thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I got honey from New York. Mm. I, as you can see, I've already been into it. It dripped down the label. <laughs> it's good. Soil Sisters honey is good. Oh, oh, nice. I'm sorry, Sammy. I can share. I don't know why. I didn't have my coffee. You know, I woke up at like eight, an hour before and I text everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Group chat. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, y'all, here's the link. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Are you? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Let me see. How many spaces? You, you can see if you do you want to stream, Miss T. I thought you were streaming, but maybe no, not. I, yeah, I was just so in a rush to get yeah. here. I understand. <laughs> I've done that. Well, when Miss T and Pam were here doing live streams, my phone was in my pocket. I forgot to even put it up there. Yes. So it, it happens. Can, yeah, it really does. And it it stopped raining. Thank goodness. It finally stopped raining here. It, so that was it. It said, no, I don't, but if you PM me, um, you, we may be able to hook up, is saying that to Miss T. Okay, okay. All right. On Instagram? Good question. I was going to ask that. <laughs> that was my next question. I we'll find out. If you want to get a hold of me. But if not, you know, I know we don't know each other, but I just thought that was cool. What a cool I, I happen to be in Savannah. Okay. That's great. Okay, so Suzanne, I turned I turned off the exclamation point, but if you just type weather and then your location, you it'll it'll let you in there. 
All right. Um, let me grab one thing. I just wanted to, um, I'll show you real quick okay. this book. And then I'm going to um, grab one of my purses there. Oh, we have a lot of people. Oh, good. Well, anyway, thank you all so much for coming. <laughs> let me see here. Okay. Let me see. Oh, it stopped raining. Okay. Yeah, you're lucky. Let me see. Put that on the screen there. Sarah, we're getting here. Right we're supposed to. It was mm -hmm. a little yesterday and supposed to, but I don't know. It sometimes it just passes us by. Yes. It's spring. <laughs> Oh, so we got mom of mom of twins on Instagram. Thank you for coming. Hey, um, I, yeah, I can't type real well over there, <laughs> but thank you for coming. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Oh no, that's good. Oh, we got Nana Michelle just popped in. All right. Nana Michelle crochets. Good to see you. Yeah. She, she's the shawl person. And uh, yeah, she really, uh, she does a lot. So anyway, I'll show you this. Book real quick, and and I I showed I shared this out on um somebody's other channel like about a year ago. I bought this randomly. Um, one of the stores had this. It's Crochet, the Complete Step by Step Guide, Essential Techniques, More Than um, Eighty Patterns. So wow. these are on the, on the cover are all these um, flower granny squares. But this is just another example of a book. The th reason why I like it is it has these monster pictures you know see that there oh, those are they're good pretty big. Big. yeah they're they're huge and and i don't know if this is still in print and maybe nisi if you're still here um can tell us if it is i don't know if she knows she bought this like i bought this probably two years ago and um i i just i shared it on her show and every all these people ran out and bought it i didn't mean to like have everybody do that but Look at the yarn. This is the different thicknesses of yarn. You see that? Mm. <laughs> it's got all that in there. But I'll just show you a picture of some of the stitches. And see the, they actually use their, they show you the hands, how to hold the hook. So that's the, the pencil. Hand hand version, the right hand version or just two different angles? Um, let me see. Uh, holding the hook. Now this sounds like it's mostly right-handed. It looks, at least just the person who's doing it in the picture is right-handed. Uh -huh. Okay. But this is tensioning the yarn, how to hold it. Uh, this is the, let me see if I see this, the pencil hold and the knife hold. Is there a left hand? Like I know. Yeah. It does look like they're doing left-handed too. Yeah, well this, I think it might be in reverse. Mm. Oh. Um, I'm not sure, you know what I mean? Because I, because the person, it, like in my picture, the one, actually one side is holding left and the other one is holding right. Yes, you're right. That's right. And then most of the pictures are right-handed, I believe. But yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. There's the left-handed one there. Let me go yeah, down. I'll buy that book from you. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is. Yeah. So it's interesting, you know, so this is, this gives you an idea. Just a, it see, it's better to have a person sitting next to you, mm. but it definitely helps if you have a good photo and see not all the books have good photos so here is um one more thing and then i'll stop talking here this is uh well this is talking about counting we were just talking about that so this is saying counting stitches and it, and it has little arrows that shows you each stitch so they're saying that the one that's on the hook does not count but then if you go to your i, I guess it's my left that's where you start counting. So it's one, two, three, four, five. I forget how many are there, but so you and I think, sorry, but the direction is going here. So here, this one doesn't count that's on the loop. And then you start going in this direction. That's how you count. But they give you illustrated pictures on how to do some of these things. So that's why these, like a book can be useful. And, uh, and I'll just, um, let me exit the solo. So anyway, just little things like that to, uh, help you get a visualization of the stitches, how to hold the yarn, things like that, when you're brand new, especially. Okay. And they give you some tips in there also. Yeah. So uh, let's see, Gail Kearney saying, I'm a new crocheter I learned from watching YouTube tutorials. See, that's good that you were able to do that. I know, um, like I said, I found that, um, I, I sort of went down a rabbit hole and I did get there, but I, it, but for me, it was very slow and, and cumbersome uh, learning on YouTube. But I sort of had a little bit of a, 
background when I got, you know, when I started watching the videos. But a lot of the people, um, oh, oh, okay, um, Hannah had to step down at her reception again. Oh, man. And uh, let's see. Oh, Rosie's left-handed. Oh, maybe Rosie can help you, Miss Yeah, team oh. left-handers. <laughs> yes, and also MOBS is left-handed. Oh, yeah, so, okay. Mm-hmm, yeah. And uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, three inches where Connor is. Okay, <laughs> wow. Snowed yesterday. And then uh, Angie said, that's great you know, that you guys can hook up. Let's see. Chattanooga weather conditions. So I have the weather programmed in my night bot if you get bored. <laughs> and you just type good because as a beekeeper, I've got one eye on the weather all the time. <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you do. Yeah. So you put weather space and then your location. So you could put city state or you could put zip code, whatever you're feeling. So there's that. That's Chattanooga. It must be and let's see. Alabama. Yes. Oh, Ann Haynes. Here we go. Oh, you're in Turkey. What? So she <laughs> said the weather, they have sunshine. Wow. I okay. Yes. <laughs> I would love to go. I would love to go. They have beautiful rugs and stuff. I had a, uh, a client that I used to see all the time. He would go, yeah, I bought another Oriental rug. You know, this is it. This is beautiful. He showed me the pictures. And mm. he, would go, he, he would go to Turkey every year. Like he went every year and would buy a rug. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yes, Rosie, please teach me. Teach me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, okay, so Rosie, it's not raining. All right, that's cool. So we're we're doing great. Um, actually, Miss T, if you want to stream, you can. But do oh, you need? I don't know if it was like too late. <laughs> no, you can, you can, you can do. Uh, listen, so you, this is a tip. <laughs> I'm going to steal Miss T's thing. You you can stream anytime. No, I mean, uh, as long as I know we're almost done or like... yeah, well that was kind of yeah that was kind of the the where I wanted to start uh oh uh oh if you guys uh -oh. kind of want to see one and but it's up to you I mean whatever you're feeling okay. I just I'm just trying to take the temperature of the room <laughs> <laughs> well I'm fine um I see Alabama's having a little difficulty <laughs> yes and I understand that because the weather's terrible I mean it really is it's it's been brutal yeah, you know, this morning was bad. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna have weeds everywhere. I had, you know, we we cleaned our yard out of the weeds, and we got so much rain, we're probably gonna have weeds, you know, see, all over I'm the. Right, I'm gonna write down Rosie. Yeah, yeah, Rosie, and actually, Rosie, drop your link. Just type Kelly. She knows what to do. <laughs> and then that way, uh, Miss T can uh, get the link. And any questions from the, oh, okay, let's see. Okay, oh, Nancy's saying her mom originally taught her, but then she relearned on YouTube several decades later. It was messy at first. Made lots of washcloths for a while. <laughs> Practice, okay? <laughs> yes, you do those squares. That's right. Oh, are you going to show oh. us how to do the squares? Yeah, yeah, I, I, can, I can, you know, walk us through. Or is that the next time? Okay. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, how's your, how's your time? Because I know you, you guys have lives. I mean, I guess. I'll it. be right back. I just want to freshen up my coffee. Yes. No, everybody's leaving us. <laughs> no, I will be. I will promise. be right back. Promise. Pinky promise. Do I just, how do I do the edit, the avatar thing? So it says stop it cam. It should be sort of by your stop cam. Got it. Yep. I'll be right back. Yep. Okay. It's just me. And then let me make sure. I want to make sure. Uh oh, oh, there's okay. Sarah's. I mean, Hannah's coming. Is Hannah back? She's back. Oh, she's outside. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> How are you making out, Hannah? Up. Oh, I don't know if she can hear us. We're having a lot of she's back. difficulties. <laughs> yeah, this this weather is terrible. Yes, but this is this is live streaming. This is what happens. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to let her go. Okay. So, oh, Nancy's teaching a lady at her Wednesday group. She's doing great. That's awesome. And then Nancy had a good comment here. Let me go back up. She said, yeah, the YouTube. Yeah, she 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 went back to YouTube after learning decades later, you know, stopping. That's what a lot of us do. You know, you become a parent and then it's over. You go to, you go to college. You, 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 you become a parent, you get a new job, it's over. Yeah. 
Oh, so Gail's in California, raining. Dang, it's okay. raining everywhere? Wow. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, and then Walker B said, they say only left-handers are there, are in their right, not, right mind. I like that. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And then uh, Gail said she's dyslexic. Yeah. Oh, I know, reading. So, like, it's not for everybody. But like I said, <laughs> the best way to learn is to have a human being next to you, in my opinion. YouTube is good, but I think a human next to you is the best. And so I, like I said, I'm going to just say, find it, find a group, do the best you can to, uh, to find a group and usually churches, libraries, and um, there used to be meetup apps. I don't even know if that's still going on, but before the pandemic, um, the meetup app was a place that I got to meet a lot of crocheters and knitters. And that was really helpful. And we would always meet in the Barnes and Noble and just, you know, Pound the coffee, but you know you can go to Starbucks or something like that. They don't mind if you hang out too long in there. Groups, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the, the groups are fun, and I, you know, I just started a new group. But I wanted to show you. Oh, I saw that ring. Uh oh, somebody has a new ring. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but I'll show you. This is a little bit of an amigurumi. I'm not done. I have to make a couple more wheels on this thing. But I'll just show you this real quick. Okay. So. This is this, um, this I, I made this little truck. So I got to put the yeah. rest of the wheels on it. But it's a, um, it's like a, a truck, you know, where you put cars on, a travel trailer truck. And you see, oh, we just lost. Somebody's trying to come in. But anyway, I made this thing and I made it way too big. <laughs> so this is the whole thing with, uh, this is like a stuff. So I have some of it stuffed here, but this is the front of the truck. These are the wheels and the windows. And then this is the trailer part. And I can't get this all in the shot. It's so big. But anyway, I have to put the wheels here. I have to put a couple sets of wheels here. But this was something that I just, I got one of those Amigurumi books and they they, they were making toys. And I said, oh, I'm going to try to make something crazy. And I did. So this is, I always try like weird stuff, you know, but I have to finish the wheels. Yeah. But th those are the things that, you know, like eventually if you want to move up to like a bigger project, like those are things that you can do and you can make toys for your kids or your grandkids. And those are fun. And they're always safe because they're squishy and everything's sewn on. And it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. So let's see. Oh yeah. So Gail likes the truck. Yeah. Not done. I said those, those, those tire. Yeah. The fl flatbeds. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. And uh, Oh, thank you so much. And Oh, poor uh, Hannah can't get a signal. She's having trouble. Oh, but anyway, and there's uh, yeah, we said hey to Kenneth, and uh, okay, and it, it's right. Oh, okay, so Angie said, um, I learned from YouTube, but knew, but I knew how to get started with the chain and single. Yeah, chain and the single's pretty simple. Um, yeah, fresh and fire got drenched. All right, and uh, oh, okay, and then Anne said her mom ver tried very hard to teach her, and that was oh everything, knitting, sewing, crochet, just couldn't do it. Then dad taught me how to fix TVs, computers, and cars, and I learned fast. See, I guess that's where you must have that, uh, well, which side brain is that? I always get the left and the right confused. But you have the, you have the correct, whatever you're doing, the, the mechanical stuff, that you have that mechanical brain. So that's pretty awesome. I like it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is interesting. So this is this is true about groups, you guys. Women show up at the group thinking we provide a class, but it's more like bring your project and hang out. Now, my group is a little different. We will do that for you if you want it. You know, so we're we're flexible about that. But most mostly it's a hangout. Yep. Oh, Kenneth is in Rhode Island. We're raining. Oh, Sandra living uh, a full life. Greetings. And then, oh yeah, okay. So Suzanne's saying, please teach them a, a single crochet washcloth, easy back and forth. And remember to count. Yeah, and that was count your stitches. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And uh, yep, Nancy, that's awesome. So that's good. Okay, did I get everything? I think I got most of the. Uh, oh, Castle Hives. There we go. Hey, missed you there. Oh, here is Rosie's link. Thank you. We good. Yep. We good. Okay. All right. Okay, now hang on just a moment. So this is what we'll do. I'm going to chain, I'm going to just pick a random number. I'm going to chain 20 stitches. And then we're going to make a little bit of a square. And I'll just show you the basic single crochet and how to get started there. 
All right, so hang on just a second. That's Rosie's link. And uh, yes. Oh, learning to crochet at 70. Wow. Never too late. Okay. Awesome. That is awesome. Yes, technical mind. That's it. I can't remember if it's the left or the right. You know, it's, it's, there's too much going on. <laughs> too much going on today. Okay. And then um, Rosie is making a Winnie the Pooh. But you guys missed my truck. I'll show you my truck real quick. <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you this real quick and then I'll, then we'll, then we'll get to the square. Okay. All right. So here's, here's my, here's my stuffed truck. So I started making this. I got to put the wheels on the back, but it's a flatbed. And there it is. And um, that's the front and then the sides. But it's got a little grill. So anyway, th these are just random things that I've been making. I've been trying to, like I tell everybody, I've been trying to make one of everything, basically. I try to make a shawl, a hat, a scarf, <laughs> washcloths, all those things. And uh, that's what I've been doing just throughout the crochet um, career. I guess I'll just say it then. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got the wrong so size see. needle. Pro, I mean, yeah. Pro. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Hang on just a second. I have to bend over. I'm going to go grab my uh, cotton here. I'll do some cotton here. I think the color is good for the camera. Okay. What's everybody got going on this weekend? Well, it's 37 degrees. I'm going to stand longingly looking at my apiary. <laughs> I'm going to be just catching some rabbits. Oh, my goodness. Rabbits? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, man. They're old enough that they're trying to breed. So I've got to um, butcher oh, them. Oh, no. Get them in the, <laughs> get them in oh, the freezer and a geez. jar. <laughs> That is so scary. <laughs> How many rabbits like can they make in a uh... Well, let's see. When I first started breeding them, let's see, my girl, her first litter, she had four or five and we lost three. Oh and okay. um her second litter she had five and we lost one. Oh wow. And then my other doe, when she finally I find I, I it was I was about getting ready to dispatch her because she wouldn't she wouldn't take oh and my. um she had eight and we lost two or one oh my no two so, wow. so but I've got three well I've actually got four at dispatch age and I went out there last night tried mm -hmm. to get my son and son in law over because they were going to help me and I was going to give them mm -hmm. each a rabbit oh my gosh and, hmm. So, um, Suzanne, my rabbits, they are mostly bred for meat. Um, but I do say I sold one the other day as a pet. Um, oh, wow. and I've given some away for pets, but, um, cool. this is the first dispatch. So I'm kind of dreading it. <laughs> guess I'm not wow. done it yet. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo myself. We're going to do just a really basic um, square. Okay. So I got the camera here. And I see Auntie Ellen. Thank you so much. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming in. And hopefully everybody's okay. All right. So I'm going to do a slip knot. This is the way I do it. It's not pretty, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay. So hopefully you can see all that. And I'm going to just chain 20. I'm going to do it slow. You want to chain nice and loose. That way you can go back in those stitches. That's okay. three, four, okay, that's 10. And I'm just doing 20. Um, normally, I notice with the washcloths, 
Sometimes it's 20, sometimes it's 25, sometimes it's 30. But you want to make, in my opinion, a nine inch um, washcloth is pretty good for most people. But I'm start, I'm stopping this at 20. It's about maybe five inches across, five, six. I'm going to do 21. Okay. Because what you do is you're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Okay. Oh, so Kenneth is leaving us. So this one doesn't count. So this is the first one. This is the second one. I'm just going to go into that stitch, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both. That's a single crochet. And then I'm just going to continue down this line to the end, and then you turn your work. So you guys keep talking. I'm going to just keep working. And if there's any questions, if you have trouble seeing, let me know. I'm gonna I'm going really slow, and I'm just going back in these stitches. I made the stitches very loose so you can sort of see, but you may want to do them a little tighter. But I'm just trying to uh, go reasonably slow but yet fast. And I'm gonna do a couple rows, but this is the project that you can do. Oh yeah, thanks for coming, Kenneth. I appreciate you all coming in and thank you for um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word, my goodness, for humoring me doing this uh, teaching because this is fun. This is fun for me. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm, I'm really enjoying sharing crochet and the love of fiber arts. And I do a little knitting and maybe we can, uh, you know, if you're into that, we can do that later if you're into it. Oh, Susan Burke. I'm just doing a sing, uh, just a washcloth single crochet. And I'm just sort of showing everybody how to, you know, th this is more like for people who are, are a beginner, but I'd like to sort of show my thought process on how I approach crochet. And the one thing that I always like to say to everybody is, you know, when you're brand new, it does take time. And, uh, the, you know, there's the, there's the tensioning and the first row is always the tough row. So I'm trying to make it look somewhat pretty, <laughs> but you know, we'll see. I'm going to, I'm almost there. And I'll show you, oops, let me get back in there. I have, I'm, I'm, I have to, I'm sort of feeding my yarn here, but I'm using cone yarn. And I don't know if you guys have seen the cones. It's uh, Lily sugar and cream. It comes in a cone like this. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, and you they give you a lot. I think it's like six or seven hundred acres. Uh, I said acres, six or seven hundred <laughs> yards. I know. Is, is that is that like a Freudian slip? <laughs> it comes in this plastic cone. <laughs> I do not want seven hundred acres. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> but anyway, that's the first row. Let me put this in here. So remember, when you, when you do that first row, you get the braids on the top, and then you're going to go back in those braids. But you see the single crochet, you get the little ladder, I guess the ladder shape. Mm -hmm. But uh, And I'm going to count my stitches. Let's see what I have. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, uh-oh, 16, 18, 20. I got 20 stitches. Woohoo! Because I started with 21. <laughs> and you always want, like, whenever, depending on the stitch that you're doing, you want to do the one extra or the two extra for the turning chain. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, oh, we have uh, Samantha Stortz here. Welcome in. And uh, if there's anybody I'm missing, just let me know, Miss T, or anybody on the panel. That'd be great. I, so Ella, we, she still does the beginner uh, stitching and crocheting. I mean, uh, knitting and crocheting, sorry. She takes them to her doctor's yes. appointments. Oh, okay. So we have, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it J John's, John D's bees? J Jen D's bees? J and D's bees. J and D's bees. <laughs> <laughs> That's Danae's oh, husband, okay. Jack. Okay, got it. Thank you. See, I, sometimes I need some help. Um, oh, Fresh and Fire saying, is the cone yarn better? No, it's just that you get a lot. So, um, the I think the regular balls you get maybe a hundred and thirty ish yards. They have they have they have different ones. The small one it's kind of like this size. You know you get maybe 
I don't know. Let me go back in there. Yeah, you, this it's about this size. So you get maybe a hundred and some yards. Then they have one that's sort of like a, a little bit smaller than a football, like a little kid's football. And that one, I think you get about 500 or 400. And then they have these cones. And the cones are good because if you make a lot of uh, cotton washcloths or dishcloths, you know, the I think you get 700 and some yards. So it's kind of cool. So it's really so the cone is good for if you have a desk, like a dedicated space, you can just leave it up there. And um, I don't know if you've noticed, but like I, there, there's a couple of uh, crocheters that have them and they just, you know, they just go with them. You know what I mean? So let's see. Let me just make sure. Let me count again. Yep. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right. So I'm going to do my, did, I chained one and I turned my work. So now I'm going back in. I'm just going to continue back down this row. And, and then you'll see. And so, so what you do is you just make this until, you know, the size that you want it to be. And this is a pretty simple, easy project. And then if you, if you don't want to do single crochet, you can do this in double crochet. You know, or half double crochet and just keep doing the same stitch. But the nice thing, oops, I just split my yarn. The nice thing is, is you just go in and you just keep going. And, you know, you always turn your work, you chain, you know, you turn your work, you chain up whatever the number of stitches at the, you know, when you get to the end of the row and you turn your work and you just continue down the opposite direction. But, you know, like I said, I'm just sort of doing this uh, by the seat of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> But I do this all the time and I do this, you know, sometimes I'll knit them, sometimes I'll crochet them. And it just really depends. And you can knock one of these out in such a, you know, short period of time. And it's great. And I'm crocheting on a table, so it's not a normal, you know, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but it's not the way I would normally hold it. It would probably be in my lap. Yep. So, but the cone yarn, it's all the same. It's made by the same manufacturer. It's just that they just give you different amounts of uh, product <laughs> and that's it. And so it, of course the cone yarns, I think in Joann's they're like $15. Walmart sells them for like $12. <laughs> um, but it's a lot of yarn. And let me tell you this, I have um, this cone, I've had it for two years and I'm still not done with it. <laughs> and I'm not even anywhere near close to being done. So there's row two. So what I'm going to do is chain one, turn my work, and then I'm going to just start going down this way. But that's it. That's your basic square, you know? So is everybody comfortable with that? Let me see. I'm going to check the comments before I take this down. And, and the, let me see. Oh, come on, comments. There we go. Uh, oh, we got Shawnee's here, I see. Okay. David Lewis. Wow, we have a oh, we, oh, who's on the panel? I'll show you. David Lewis, welcome. Single crochet washcloth. Thank you, <laughs> Miss T. All right. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down. But uh, was that was that good for everybody? Was it you know were you able to see well enough? Hopefully, but yes. that's my that's my computer. All right. Let me just uh, go to my settings. We're going to switch over, and uh, this is awesome. I love it. <laughs> but let me see. So anyway, it is. Let me just move that out the way. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right. Uh oh, somebody's being uh paged. Oh, so yeah. there we go. Yeah, you got a busy phone. Oh, so yeah. that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like I said, um, let me let me unsolo myself here. Sorry about that. So let's go to the uh, let's go back to the. Uh, the panel. And uh, so we have Miss T with the T. And we have uh, Sarah's Happy Hives. She's got the yellow yarn, little headband she's making. And then we got Lisa, Grammy's beekeeping and homesteading. And look at hers. Okay, Let, let's everybody, I'm going to solo everybody. Let's do Miss T first. Oh, actually, I was about to tell you, I do have to leave. Um, I know. That, that's why I'm saying, yeah. Yep. Um, well, anyway, if you want to show people or, or just any final words before you go. Here's my little. I've been doing a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Well, she has a, she's on it like every day, like Monday through Friday, you know, for a couple of hours live streaming. So busy, mm -hmm. busy. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a daughter who's about to graduate. So we're doing open house and yes. getting her ready. She graduated yes. 
about to be April. She graduates in May, so we're getting everything together. So I do have to go and okay, do mom. Well, thank you so much for coming, and um, I appreciate you putting it together and getting the homesteaders crocheting. It's awesome. Yeah. We're very proud of you. I know this is a big. Let me tell you, it's a big deal. It's a big deal, and we're we're like, oh, thank yes, you. yeah. I look okay. forward to on the next one. Okay. Well, thank you so much, and let me know, you know, when you're free. Okay, so thank you, Miss T. And then I'm gonna say goodbye to the, the other two ladies and then we're we're good. So okay, so let's see, Sarah. Hold on. So let, let, let's show show your work before you go. Try to make a wash cloth. Yeah. That's nice. So she's doing great. Single crochet. It's beautiful. Thank you. Okay. And thank you so much for coming. Okay, and then we got uh Miss Lisa. Let's see how she's doing solo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yes. And then here's mine, which you guys already saw. Oops. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, exit. There we go. There we go. I just hit the button and bam, and there's mine. And you and you saw it earlier. But anyway, so thank you so much, you guys. And then just continue. So next week, bring your bring your um, washcloth. We'll take a look. But anyway, this is one that I did, and I'll show you this real quick. I made this last week, and uh, this is uh, the sedge stitch. And one of the other channels did this. And this is like a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. Yeah, it's great. Half double crochet. It's beautiful. And um, it, it's, you know, but we'll get to that. Those patterns, that'll be the next step. <laughs> Those patterns, we'll, we'll get there. So I appreciate you all coming. Thanks. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, yes, yeah, Samantha. Yeah, so, so we're, we're getting ready to shut it down because we're like an hour and a half. And this is kind of where I wanted to, you know. Work it, work it Time out. flew. I feel like I've been sitting here 15 minutes. <laughs> I, I'm so glad that you, you know, that you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so much to the uh, chatters out there. And, yes. And the people on Instagram, thank you so much for coming over. <laughs> I can't I can't chat well. Uh, Shabazz Sports, thank you for coming. Yes. But I my, for some reason, my, my, I can't type over that right now. <laughs> okay. And then uh, Fresh and Fire says the... Um, Single crochet, double crochet makes a beautiful design. Yes, it does. And we'll do that. Oh, there's Be Creative, my buddy. Yay. She helped me. <laughs> she helped me do the sedge stitch. Okay. Nice. Sweet. All right. So listen, here we go. I just want to say, once again, is thank you for watching. <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe. And um, thank you to all the moderators and the people in the, you know, that have come over from all the channels. I hope this helps you get your watch hours. I'm always excited to, to get people uh, monetized. <laughs> them going. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Well, listen, you all have a great day and we will see you soon. You guys stay on panel if you can for a moment. And okay. uh, we'll, we'll end the stream. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>